Uh, welcome, there is a question on the forum. Can we install Linux mainline? So I have this virtual box that's up here. Let's see if it can work inside the virtual machine. Installed it already. So I'm booting up. This is 18.10.4 at this point in time. So every month we get an update. So this is the October version. So that one. Now remember this number 4.18.12. So we need to install, if you like to install, the pseudo pacman minus s linux and then something right so we have um, different possibilities you have hardened you have lts headers send so there are lots of kernels you can test out lts there's a separate tutorial about that on uh, arcolinux.com now the question here is um, linux mainline so first off we don't see it so there is no linux mainline so you go to pamac and say hey um, where is it then? So Linux with an M, right? So no Linux mainline whatsoever. So you go to the internet and go to hello, article Linux, hello. This is our page to go to. Select whatever browser you'd like. I have, by the way, this is a minimal, I guess, since we, don't, we need to make that choice here. Let's take it again. I did not quite. Look at it. Yes, it's the minimal version of XFCE, so no open box, no i3. And no browsers. There is just this one. The best of them all, Vivaldi. Of course, that's personal. You delete it, you install Firefox or Google Chrome. The thing is, Arch Linux mainline. That's the question online. So, my God, we're working with Bing. So, Google, please. So we need to have um, a link. Yeah, there we go. So Google. <laughs> there we get good, correct links. There you go. First one. That's how to do it. So we have here a package in the AOR. Arch Linux packages Linux mainline. So that's uh, hidden away. Hidden away is a big word. That's where it is. If you package build, you can do so and have a look what he's going to do. But basically, we need to go and go to console called T, yay, Linux mainline, and see if the package build is done correctly. We should get it, right? So this is the number one. There are other stuff like the headers in here, virtual box, mainline stuff here as well. So I don't know what this user is, his intention is and why he wants it. But here's the tutorial and let's have a look at it. Remove make dependencies while well, you press return always. Well, I do. No, no, no. Import. Enter. Let's see what this does. Yeah, there is a problem importing keys. Now we have um, solved the issue in the sense that we have a yay skip these days. A new uh, alias and the alias, if you want to see it in the tutorial, alias we are using is this one this long sentence which you'll never be able to remember I always do typo somewhere so yay skip is for me easier and I say Linux mainline that's basically I'm going to tell skip every test so let's see if it also skips the GPG stuff so no it does not um, okay how shall we fix that then I will have probably to do something if I want to import these keys. Let's see. I can do the following thing. I go to the file manager. I go to file system etc. pacman.t gnu pg. This is it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's the file I need. Gonna copy paste this one over here. Control C, Eric, Control H. GNU PG control V. So I'm just copy pasting into my own directory called dot GNU PG. Now, there are issues with um, keys. That's uh, typically probably for Arch Linux. Um, what was I going to type? Yeah, okay. So, Arco Linux dot com, okay. 
GPG, that's a problem with the GPG. How to fix one or more PGP, GPG, it's all a bit, a bit well, turned around the letters, but it's, it's that what you need. Now, one of these four will do the trick. One of these guys will do the trick. And you have to figure out at home, I have to change something to be able to get these keys in. So I'm gonna do this, um, I think I used the port 80, so the end is actually a door that opens to your system. So port 80, and then save it and try it again and see if I can pass through my door, <laughs> basically. Okay, so it was not 80, Control Z. Must have been this one then. So 443 I'm using now. So another door and see if my provider lets me import my keys again. There we go. So it's not a mistake of Arch nor Arch Linux. It's really an internet service provider that I have in Belgium that I pay for that is blocking my stuff here. So as long as you know, we're good to go. We get our GPG stuff in. Well, our keys in, and now we all get all the rest in. And it's, I suppose, I suppose I know it's gonna take a while to build. Because we're receiving objects here at a good speed, a super speed, but we're only at 14%, so I think we're going to install a bunch of software. Talking about space, how much space do I have? 8.8 .8 on this virtual machine. Should be enough. So let's pause here and see what it brings. In the meantime, we are eight hours later. I went to work and the virtual box has um, finished compiling. But of course I was not there to fill in my password. So it's now somewhere. The question is where? So it says finished making this version here. We open a new window. We go inside Eric, inside and the cache, and then you see the yay. And in there is the Linux mainline. And these are the guys he fixed, he, he made. So we have a package star XZ and a package star XZ documents and the headers. And I don't know what this is, but these three guys are the guys I need to install. So I can get rid of this. So I have files. And with these files, with this extension, of course, minus U, you can start typing. And then, but not that one, Linux. So these are the things we can install. Don't need the headers, don't need the documents, not for now. I just want to test the first one. So, dash four. That's it. That's the one. And let's see if at all it works uh, when we are on VirtualBox because the element that we're on, the kernel we're on, is 4.18.12. He wants to install the 19RC7-1 and he's updating those. And that's okay. Now we have this alias to update our grub. And I always forget this long sentence. So we have an update grub that I cannot forget. And I have to update the grub, so he's going to find the new kernel. And let's reboot quickly. Let's see what happens to our system if we reboot. This is virtual box. So this is the DVD. I need to go inside my own machine. And it says already Linux mainline, so we know already we are in for a surprise. We have the latest Linux mainline from AOR installed. And there you go. So version 4.19037 mainline came from yay. And then Linux mainline, why not just type it like this and let yay find it. So you see lots of information, even X Radio Kit comes mainline eh, comes here, but you check out what you actually want, and it's the Linux mainline, that's this one. Plus 216, hola. 
and the headers we need the headers for I don't know I think for virtual box if you are going for DKMS I think that's necessary but normally you don't need those guys it's just uh, Linux mainline so you can try out and see the latest latest very latest kernel that's uh, available right now all right have fun exploring this